Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and the reason why you click on this video is because you want to know how you guys can spoof your location, alright, either on your iOS or Android devices. And well, you're in luck today because in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and the safest way to spoof your location, alright, on your Android and iOS devices without getting, you know, without the need to jailbreak your Android or iOS devices at all. So... Today, I am going to show you this software right here, alright? So, this is the i2 Lab Any Go, alright? And this is my go-to software, alright? To, um, you know, to spoof my location on my phone, alright? So, why, are, why do you need even need to spoof your location, alright? There's a lot of usage you can use it for, alright? The main usage, mostly people will be like, say, if someone is stalking you, alright? And you, and you want to spoof your location to protect yourself, alright? To hide your location for privacy purposes, or if you're using like Live360 app or any other social media app like Snapchat as well and you want to fake location so your friends will think that you are at this location or that location alright or even you want to use like use it to play like some geolocation based games alright you can definitely use this kind of um, spoofing without you alright needed to be presented at the location itself you can at the comfort of your own home to change your location on the go so right now i'm going to just show you the software itself and what you can do with it all right a few different features you can you do on the software and show you in live all right my um, location is changing on my phone so we will have a demonstration on that as well so without further ado let me just go ahead and show you the software itself let's go all right as you guys can see this is the software itself Alright, I uh, just need to click on start. So this thing supports both Android and iOS like I said. Alright, and this supports the latest Android 15 and the latest iOS 18. So if you're using the latest iOS, alright, it is supported as well, which is really incredible. And you guys can use this wirelessly. Alright, we don't need to be connected to your, to the PC at all. But this unfortunately only works on the ios so if you have ios you can use the wi-fi function as well so you don't have to connect your physical cable to your pc but unfortunately for android you have to use an actual cable all right but uh, today i'll be demonstrating on android but you know both features will work the same on an iphone as well all right so on android it's the same thing you just have to connect your phone which i have it connected right now all right you will detect it all right and it will ask you to enable usb debugging and you know authorize the rsa key Alright, uh, once you have done all this, alright, you guys, uh, for me, I've done it. So, if you haven't done it, they will have a screen that shows, you know, the step-by-step -step guide on how you guys can enable that. And don't worry that, because this thing is um, is 100% safe. USB debugging, it just authorizes, um, you know, the computer or PC to control the phone. So, do not have to worry about that. So, once you've done the step, alright, you should um, be able to go into this screen over here. Alright, so you guys, if you are playing like some geolocation based games like, you know, Pogo, uh, MHN games, alright, you guys can select it. So they have like some features specifically made for those. Alright, um, you have DQ Walk mode as well. Alright, if you are playing these kind of games. Alright, but for me today, I'll be demonstrating on the social mode. But the social mode can be used for other games as well. Um, but because today I'll be just demonstrating on the Google Maps itself, I'll just stick to social mode. Alright, and uh, yeah, so I'll just select social mode. Alright, and you will install an app that uh, con controls the GPS day data on your phone. Don't worry, it's 100% safe. Do not have to worry about that because I've been using this for quite a while and I don't have any issues with it at all. Okay, so let me just make this software bigger. Alright, as you guys can see, um, I'm currently right over here. Okay, so if I want... Okay, so they have different modes over here. Look at the top right corner over here. Okay, but uh, yeah. So all this mode on top here... Alright, I'll show you guys one by one what it can do. So, we have the default mode which is called the teleport mode. So, teleport mode, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so for whenever you choose a location, you want like, probably at, around here. Alright, like Catholic Junior College, you want it over here. You just need to click on here. Alright, it'll show you the coordinates, the distance from where you are. Alright, and you can also like it as well. So, if you're okay with it, just click on go. Alright, and you guys can see on my Google Maps itself, alright my gps has been teleported as well so yeah you can just select anywhere click on go all right and your location will change as well so it's very very simple all right so teleport mode works very you know very simply all right and the next one we have is this two spot mode all right this is a very interesting mode all right so you get to select this spot over here all right you click on go all right they will ask you 
all right you want to go from a to b to a or a to b and then a to b again all right so you can have a realistic mode where the speed will varies um you can understand it more later on all right so once you click on go all right you can do you see this do you see this all right do you guys see this yes so we actually plan the actual route from where you are to the end point and actual route all right and below here you guys can see over here i don't know if you guys can see over um sorry over here all right there is this one where you can adjust the speed so um let's say if you are probably like telling your friends you're on the way and you know you're still at home and they check the live 360 app or snapchat app and say you know oh yeah you are actually moving you are driving so you can select the speed so the faster the speed the, the gpa will move faster and on my phone you can see it's also moving with the actual way so it's really really cool you can adjust your own speed as well so this is the two spot mode it's really really cool all right which give you like an actual route so you you know if you want to lie this is the easiest way all right to do so all right let's talk about the next one all right and we have okay let me just pause for a while all right so yeah you can select realistic mode so that your speed varies to make it more realistic so now you understand it all right so we're gonna just um yeah quit this mode for now all right so this one is the multi-spot mode so what does it does is same as the two-way spot but you can have multiple spot but this one only goes in you know direction so okay so um yeah it will show you so you can loop okay you can select on and off but i'll just keep it as it is all right but this one will not plan an actual route for you you will just cut through everything which is can be very useful sometimes if you want to visit certain locations or right, you can use this as well so you guys can see all right you will just go in a straight line and you guys can see on my gps it is moving in the line that is defined in the uh in the software itself all right so yeah you can select um so yeah so yeah this one you can select a lot of points as much points as you like there's no limit to how many you want to put you can put like as many as you want all right then you can click on go you can see how many distance and how long you will take based on the speed that you define okay so uh yeah i'm gonna stop this for now but you guys can have a you know a general idea on how this thing works so they have a lot of really cool modes for you and this one is uh, the joystick mode i think the joystick me also quite self-explanatory basically you can see on the bottom left all right there is this um joystick mode so first of all you select the speed you want probably i go with car moving speed all right and i just need to click on play all right and you can see you'll start moving so if i were to shift this joystick around all right around the here you will follow the direction the joystick is pointing at all right or you can use the manual key all right or you can use your WASD key. You can see I'm using my keyboard right now and it is. <laughs> can you see? Yeah, I'm using my keyboard right now. So you can control it manually using your keyboard WASD key or your keyboard up and down left arrow. All right. So you can see how fast I am moving. It's really crazy, right? So yeah, you can select the. You guys can see on my Google Maps, I'm also moving at the same speed. All right. So yeah, it's really cool. You can uh, use joystick mode. It's basically let like you control on your own all right and the last one i'm talking about will be the jump teleport mode so what this does is basically it's the same as the teleport but you get to choose multiple location very similar to the multi-spot mode where you can select a lot of location you can click on go all right so this will you can select jump after cooldown so you won't look so fishy all right but um yeah but if you don't want you can just go instantly Alright, so you'll jump to this spot you can see you'll jump to here then once you're okay with it click on next you will jump to the next one then you click on next again you will jump to the next point next again next again next again next and after that you will finish off all right so yeah so it's very similar to teleport i can add multiple locations so for you like you want you you want it over here when your next one is over here so it save you a lot of time you don't have to teleport you don't have to like teleport here and then find where is it and then teleport again so you can predefine the routes let's say if you know if you are looking around the map but you don't know where the location is on the map right but you do know the address or the postal code well you can on the top left hand corner you can type in the search bar the coordinate or the address or the postal code so for me if i go key in like a 
random postal code. Alright, they will come up with this, the location itself. Alright, so you know where it is. Alright, I think it shows up. Right? It's over here. So this is the, the area it is. So yeah, you can also manually search the location and you will teleport to where you want it to be. Alright, so yeah, you can manually input your location and they will come out. So it's very, very convenient. So you don't have to like like slowly find it. If you know, you just need to add in where you, where you know about it. You can import some GPX file. Alright, and you can um, have a historical record of where you have visited. So you can favorite it or you can select them. Or, and then you can you know put them back on the map again or you can go to location you can see the various modes so this one has a really lot of historical data so if you know like those places that you visit often you can often add your favorite so you can load it next time or if your friend has the same software as you and you know he had planned the different routes or different areas that you know they want your GPS to be spoofed they can send you the file after that you can load it in so it's very very convenient as well Alright, and if you look to, uh, sorry, this site, uh, can you see all the, um, you know, all this thing over here? Alright, so these are all different type of, like, um, extra things that you guys can do. You can have some uh, else if resources, cooldown timer. You can view all your favorites. Oh, okay, I don't have any favorites right here. Alright, you guys can reset your location. So this is back to where I am, the current location. Alright, you guys can also control multiple devices with it as well. So you can add multiple devices and you can control you know multiple devices at once. So you know when you search when you put that location, right, all the devices will point ping pong to the location. It's really really cool, alright? So yeah, you can have a lot of devices as well. So this one is to you know, send, send, center it, zoom in, zoom out, so all the very basic things. So yeah. Alright, or if you want to zoom in, zoom, I can use your mouse scroll wheel or left click to drag around the map. So yeah, it's really, really cool and it doesn't work only on Singapore. If you are other country, alright, you can also spoof your location to another country also, can? Yep, alright, so if I want to tell like my friends that I'm traveling, alright, this is why I'm doing a teleport mode right now, alright? So yeah, you can have the whole lab, maybe I can tell them how. Uh, Oh, I have traveled to probably like um, Greenland. I'm like this location. Okay, so uh, yeah. So if I go to my GPS, I can zoom out, and I'm in Greenland. Then when your friend sees, they're like, "Oh my God, you went there for travel?" You know, <laughs> or you can just say, oh, "I'm stuck somewhere in the ocean." And yeah, you can, your friends will be like, "Oh, why are you in the middle of the ocean?" You know, it's really really cool. So you can just. You can change your location to anywhere you want. All right, there's, there's no limit to where you can change to, so it's really, really cool. All right, and yeah, the flexibility you have on this thing is really, really awesome. All right, and it doesn't damage your phone in any way. Oh, I'm using this. All right, so once I'm done with it, what can I do is that I can just close the program. All right, let's close it. All right, just you know, close this, close this. All right, and then if I go back to my Google Maps, all right, all right let me just... Double tap, alright, just wait for my location to reset. Now I just need to unplug my phone. Alright, and I am back to my home. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, once I disconnected it, alright, the, the GPS is not spoofed anymore, so you will co go according to your, um, you know, your, um, your GPS, the, the, the GPS location data on your phone itself already so you won't be using any of the spoof location at all so yeah it's very very simple let me just end this screen recording and they also have the um, iOS version as well so if you're on iPhone and you want to don't you want to use your PC or right, you guys can use the app itself they have it for the app itself so uh, yeah it's just downloaded straight to your phone and change location from your phone itself all right so this anygo has an app for both ios and android as well if you want to use them instead of using a pc all right so uh yeah you guys can also check out this link all right will be in the video description down below all right for you to download this for your ios as well i don't want to cry